Hello and welcome to the Karen Sector. This is Andrew and this is 1000 points of Imperial Knights versus 1000 points of Necrons. So today is a bit of a um, silly game day. So I completed the games, um, and as you may have seen, you've seen the introduction video, I lost some of the footage. Uh, well, I lost one of the games entirely, to be honest, uh, by deleting it through my own stupid mistake. Uh, so I had planned this game to come between round one and two and then the, the finals, but what will happen is you'll see round two, you'll see, you'll have seen the round two, you'll have seen the, uh, the span of final, now you're getting this game, and then we'll get on to the final after this one. Um, so today, we have this deployment zone, which is already marked out. We are playing Take and Hold. So there are six objectives out on the table. And um, from turn two, you score one victory point for every one you hold. And today's twist is an interesting one for two very shooty, not very, uh, two very shooty armies. Uh, blackout. The range of all shooting attacks is 18 inches. And I have increased the table size to the maximum that I have, which is a really odd, it's like 60 by 30 something. 60 by 35, 59 by 35, I think is the actual measurement. So um, just to give the, the things room to maneuver, because you will see why in a second, as we go um, jump straight into looking at the armies. Here we have 1,000 points of Imperial Knights, and this is why it's a bit silly, because I'm bringing the big one. This is Athena, and she's piloted by the Lady Jennifer, um, and uh, I'm very proud of her. But uh, as usual, we are running Household Tradition Glorified History. We are, we, I must remember they get one to advance and charge rolls, because they've um, been the Imperialis, and also Hounds of War, uh, so Glorified History. I'm going all over the place. Can reroll a single hit roll um, for shooting Overwatch and in the fight phase, and we have Hounds of War, so the uh, armagers can either fall out of combat and shoot with a minus one, or fall out and charge again. Uh, leading the um, the fight, of course, is the uh, Knight Preceptor, where you've got uh, Warlord trait, Iron Bulwark, so it's got a constant four up invul. And Armour of the Sainted Irons, it's got a two-up save uh, base as well. And we've got two Helverins with auto cannons and stubbers. Uh, two Warglaives with um, their uh, chain swords and thermal spears. And um, also heavy stubbers as well. So I paid the command point uh, before we start. So all of the heavy stubbers and the, the heavy stubber on there as well will be AP minus one. Let's go look at the Necrons. And here we have 1,000 points of Necrons, or just under. Um, we are, today we are running as Mefrit. So three inches to the range uh, weapons. And when I roll, uh, when I'm within half range of the weapon, then they become AP, they get an extra AP minus. So um, although three inch range won't help, because we're limited to 18 inches, but the uh, it will bring them into uh, half range a bit sooner as well, which is quite nice, and we can get lots of damage output. Um, of course, we've got 14 Necrons with the uh, Gorse Flare, 10 Necrons with the uh, Gorse Reaper, and I paid a command point uh, to put these into Strategic Reserve. In the heavy slots, we have the uh, Doomstalker, with his firing overwatch abilities and a locust heavy destroyer with the single shot gauss destructor with its strength 10 ap minus 4 and does 3d3 damage which is quite nice um i do need more of those guys uh these these two have just been painted recently and then recently finished is the big fella here the monolith um who is running death rays for some crazy shooting again only 18 inches now instead of 24, and you've got this particle whip. And um, these guys can come down 
from there as well. So I've spent two command points for these guys, so putting them down to four. So we will go um, set up the battlefield. So end of deployment. The uh, Imperial Knights won the roll off and they decided to be defender. So they chose this side that's a bit more open that they can move faster through. Um, these will give them minus one to, or minus two to move and charge through. Um, as well, although they can't go through there. Um, they've got a very limited window, uh, but that's that. Um, I think I forgot with my Necrons to mention his Warlord trait. He's a mortal pride for the, the buffs. And he's got the uh, Relic, which gives him plus two for Living Metal rather than plus one if he takes any damage. And then the Necrons have more or less um, held at the back. We, we're taking the, the two objectives here with that one. Because um, it's going to be at least one turn before things get really in range and we can do some damage. But we'll go from there. And yeah, the Knights are just a blob in the middle. That's, I think I forgot to mention... That's the, the rocket pod, so he does not need line of sight. But deep down, it also does need to be within 18 inches or something. So we will go and see who gets to go for... T oh, who gets to choose turn one. So we'll go white for the knight. Uh, the knights... Hmm. We'll let the necrons go first. Very, very quick movement phase over and done with. Uh, the monolith just hopped forward, and the Doomstalker here moved forward, um, and they just shuffled there and were taking hold of these objectives here. Although, now I've said that, I moved this to the 10, and it's blocked line of sight overwatch for doing that. But anyway, um, we'll see what happens. And there's, everything is out of range for shooting. There's no points to score in this turn. All points will score turn two, which we'll pretty much guarantee two of. And let's see how much battering this can take as we move on to knights. Turn one. In a risky first turn, the knight has gone and advanced. He got uh, three, so he's got up to four inches, so he's moved uh, 16. This one came around here, and then the knight, we pay a command point for full tilt whenever, well, paid for it now, but whenever the relevant time is, and it's a nine inch charge to the monolith. So we'll see how that goes. But we do have a round of shooting. This guy can put everything into um, him here. So into the monolith. So we've got three shots from the stubber. Hitting on threes. Uh, wounding on sixes. Oh, AP minus one. Uh, the monolith save is a three. Oh, it's a two up save. Ooh. So minus one becomes a three up. No. So, um... I need to get lots so of down to 23 wounds with a cheeky first blood to the uh, Warglaive. D3 shots for the Thermal Spear for one. It's on a three, but I can, I've can. i got a single reroll. No. Okay. Uh, that is the end of the shooting phase in turn one. And we will go into the charge phase and the knight will charge there. So it needs an eight because we've got plus one to advance and charge. Oh yes, we're in. Um, we will spend a command point on Overwatch. And I need to look so we've got four shots from the Death Rays, hitting on sixes. One goes through. Strength nine, wounding on a three. No wound. And then D6 from the Particle Whip. For two. Hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. AP minus three, so saving up the four up invul. New, no. uh, flat three damage. I need to get some more damage. Charge ending up there. There's no space for that to charge to come through. Um, this is very much blocking everything off. <laughs> Wounds on both sides. So we will go into the attack. So four attacks with the Reaper Chainsword. We're going to have the Chainsword because it's ridiculous. Uh, bring up to strength. Uh, 14? Still wounding on threes, that's his toughness eight. Hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. Oh, they all wound. And it's AP minus three, so it's two up save, so it does have a five up save. Ooh! Uh, 
6, 12, 24 damage? Um. Hmm. Does it go boom? No, it does not go boom. Um. Well, that was very short-lived. As <laughs> we take that one away. Um, we will then... Um, we will not consolidate, uh, but that knight has got a lot of things to live up to. And then the poor the Necrons have to um, come out somewhere else, and they can't come out from the monolith. Ah, uh, well that was uh, <laughs> short-lived and definitely new Marvel Syndrome. Turn two. So end of turn two. Of Turn to movement phase of the Necrons, I should say. These guys have come on here because they can move next turn and get that and maybe do a bit of distraction. We've moved here so everything can get line of shot on that side on that. Although pretty much everything has minus one to hit through shooting through the cover. And the two heavy things are going to try and get revenge for the other big heavy thing. And I completely forgot about the protocols, but we're in turn two. And this is the Mefrit one. So we get both of these, not that it matters. Um, but we do, any wound rolls of a six will increase the armor penetration, which is gonna be useful for these guys. Um, Cause I think they are wounding on sixes um, if they hit. Right, so we'll go onto the shooting phase. And as the Doomstalker did stay still, it can fire at its high power, so it's strength 10. So it has d6 shots for the big six. Hitting on fours. Two go through, wounding on threes. And these will need to save at the iron shield save. One goes through for d6, for five. And then we've got the, we are within, he's in rapid fire range for his side arms, but they're outside of it. So he's got rapid fire two, so he's got four shots. And these are also in half range, so they're AP minus two. And any sixes to wound will make them AP minus three. But either way, it's gonna be the four of invul. Hitting on fours, uh, four ones, no. So the, the heavy destroyer will fire next his single shot, hitting on a three. Hits, wounding on a three, wounds. Four up invul, no. Uh, three D three damage. So three, six, seven. Oof, the Necrons are getting Vicious. Oh, I forgot to say, we did score two points for our objectives in turn two. And then the Warlord has his Tachyon Arrow. It's a single shot, strength 12. So he hits on a two. And he misses. Oh, lovely. Um, oh, and he forgot to do his... Might well be done, oh, well the only thing he's might well be done can do on is those guys anyway. So we do lose the minus one to hit, so they will be hitting on threes. I need to go count some nice. Before I fire, I'm gonna spend two command points. One on Relentless Onslaught, so six is to hit, score an additional hit, because I've only got 14 shots. And then um, Talent for Annihilation, uh, a six to wound does a mortal wound uh, in addition. So that's going to be quite powerful. So looking for threes to hit. And then strength four, toughness eight. So I need sixes to wound, but sixes. Oh, hang on a minute. Just had to double check the fuzzage. There were no sixes to, wo uh, to hit, so there's no additional hits. But wounding on sixes. So that's two. So we do two mortal wounds, putting it down to seven. That's gonna be bracketed now. And saving on fours. And putting it down to six wounds left. 
Um, and that is the end of the Necron turn. We did some uh, decent amount of damage to the big fella there, but we've still got lots coming up the backfield as we go into turn two for the Imperial Knights. So let's see how the Knights can respond. Um, he's now on his final bracket, so he's moved here. We've got, uh, this one's moved forward as well to take some shots. Uh, that one's moved forward to claim that objective. We've claimed these objectives here, and this one's also moved forward to shoot at the, these guys here. So we got our two points in our turn um, as well. As we will go on to the shooting phase, although I want to double check, is there a healing spell? No, nope, it would appear not. So we are stuck on six wounds and see if we can survive any uh, overwatch that will come free from that fella. But first we'll go on to the shooting. We'll put all the shots here into here. So the stubbers hitting on threes, uh, wounding on fours, and saving on... Is there a save for... Saving on a five. No. So one drops down. Uh, 3d3. Two, four, six, nine. Hitting on threes, and I've got a reroll. Uh, strength seven, wounding on threes. That was one. And saving on fives. So three more go. So I've got four protocols, fives, re rolling ones. Uh, re roll that one. Okay, so one of them pops back up again, and three are downed. And that's the end of the, all the shooting that can happen over there. We'll go on to the big fella. He'll put all his shots into the Doomstalker. Um, <laughs> he's gonna hit on fives. Right, heavy stubber. Nothing on fives, nothing. The rocket pod, one shot, doesn't hit. The last impulse, uh, I think I need to get as many shots as possible. 2d6 at the lower strength. So five. Hitting on fives. And I can reroll one. Hey, two hits. Wounding on fours. One wound. AP minus two. We have a three up save, so five up. And he makes the save. And we will repeat the... He will shoot into the big thing as well. Stubbers. Hitting on threes. Uh, wounding on fives. D3 shots. Three. Hitting on threes and I can re-roll one. Wounding on... Uh, threes. Thermal spear is... AP minus four. So that goes straight through and we are in half range. So we can go five damage, uh, eight damage. How many wounds does it have? Uh, it has 12 wounds, putting it down to four. But it is now very much bracketed. Um, not that that matters. Oh no, it's middle bracket. Hmm. <coughs> and that is the end of the shooting phase. So we will go on to the charge phase. Um, what's his... Let me get this right. We can just fire as if it was... Uh, Overwatch is free Overwatch. So that one could fire Overwatch if I charge that one. But for one shot. And three command points left. No, maybe not. All right, we will charge into the the one there. Oh, yeah, we're definitely in. Yeah, stunk. And Overwatch, and 
He didn't move, so it's still the big profile. D6, five. Hitting on sixes. Nothing. And the four shots from the... Nothing. That was quite lucky. And... Ooh, right. This one here can fit in here. And it can charge, it will need to declare both units, but they're both equally spaced. It's both a six, well, it's a seven inch charge, but plus one. Uh, so that's a six, that's just enough in. And we will spend the command point on Overwatch for these guys here because they're, are now in half range. We'll spend the additional camp, a command point for sixes to wound, doing a mortal wound in addition, because they're AP minus two at the minute. Um, and they're going to go to wound on sixes anyway. But there's 28 shots it's coming in onto the hit on sixes. Oh no, these are toughness seven, so they'd be wounding on fives. So one six does a mortal wound onto that one, and uh. Be AP minus three, so we'll plug it to its five up. Uh, no, so he takes two damage on the way, and the warlord has heroically intervened there. Um, so we will uh, start with this guy, and hmm, he's got two different attacks. All right, yeah. So we're gonna go everything onto the warlord. Um, so he's gonna do the sweeping attack because it's gonna be threes and threes. That means he can do eight attacks eight on threes, and I can re-roll one. Wounding on threes. So that's four at AP minus two. He's got three up save. Oh, he's got a four up involve. So four up involves. So he takes two wounds. Putting him down to three. And then it's not worth interrupting now. So the big fella here can choose to attack. Well, the big fella will do his stompy feet down onto there. So he's got 12 attacks because he gets three for each one attack. Hitting on fives. And I can re-roll one. Uh, wounding on threes. All wound at AP minus two, and he has a three up save, so it's five ups. He makes one. Is it D3 damage? He's got four wounds, D3 damage. So four wounds to get through. He's got a single wound left. He gets two attacks, hitting on threes. And he can reroll ones for eternal hatred. And he still misses anyway. I think I would too after getting stomped on by a big thing. Uh, the Canoptic Doomstalker has one attack. Hitting on sixes. Oh no, hitting on. Oh, it's on a four. Uh, strength six, so wounding on a five. Nothing. Uh, the Warlord gets four attacks, hitting on twos. And strength five, six, seven, only on fours. One goes through at AP minus three, so saving on a six. Nope. And does D3 damage for three. Bring that down to seven. And then I'll have to move the warriors. All right, because they've still got my will be done on them. There is six in range, hitting on twos, wounding on fives, uh, saving on threes. Yeah, we saved them all. That was worrying. As we hmm, go on to 
Necrons turn three. Necrons turn three, we get a single point. So we got one point for holding that objective in our command phase, and we've moved on to Protocol of the Undying Legions, and I'm gonna su select two, so I can make a, a reroll of a dice. Reroll one dice for reanimation. Put me back up to two command points. We've fallen out of combat here, because um, that will stomp, stomp. The warriors have actually remained in combat because I think we can keep that tied up. The warlord has moved out. He regained two for living metal, living metal, living metal, no living metal. Aha. So the only shooting that can happen this turn is here. And we put all our shots into here. And we will pay the command point again for uh, talent of annihilation. So we can get sixes to wound. We'll do a mortal wound in addition. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 14. Fourteen attacks coming through. Hitting on the threes. Oh, might well be done also onto those ones again. This is where I should have paid for double hits, right? Fives and sixes, looking for sixes. So three mortal wounds. And, uh, so AP minus one. We're within half range, so saving on fives. Uh, we'll spend a command point for rotate iron shield. So saving on fours. So six damage done in total, leaving it down to six. Yeah, 12 wounds. So that one is now bracketed. That's handy. We might very well charge it and get closer to the objective. In fact, yeah, we will declare that now. So five, I think that's in. Because we only have to get to the barrier, yep. So consolidate onto the objective. Maybe a couple more attacks as we consolidate in. And that is all that we can do this turn. So six attacks here, going into him there. Hitting on threes. Wounding on fives. Oh! Saving on threes. He takes two wounds. Bring on to four. It's not on his final bracket yet. Um, but we will activate this one into the uh, Necrons and we will do the sweep. Seven, all right, hitting on three still and I can reroll one. Wounding on threes. Uh, AP minus two, so saving on sixes. And uh, reanimation protocols, and I can reroll one. No. So, two of these Necrons go, and we will um, consolidate in. I'll try to stay on the objective. Three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight attacks, hitting on twos. They all hit, only on fives and sixes. Necrons in close combat for me seem to be working. Uh, saving on threes, and they all save. And the Helvering gets four attacks back. Hitting on fours. Wounding on threes. Saving on fours. Uh, two go through reanimation protocols. And I can reroll one. Yeah. So we actually lose two more off there. Although leadership 10, so we're not going to need any morale checks. As we're going to turn two, or turn three for the knights. So we get two command points there. 
This one's still contested. That one the troops have. Um, and we'll go into the movement phase. So we've fallen out of combat here, but we can shoot a minus one, although we're hitting on fives. Uh, that one has turned on this one. So we've just swapped objectives here because now he's in 18 range of the Doomstalker. So if he can take down the Doomstalker, this can then turn take down that. And we've remained in combat there. I um, wonder if he should have charged in, but no, he's the leader. He's, he's staying regal and out of the way. So we'll start on the shooting phase over here because everything here has only got one target. So we'll put all the shots into that one. So three stubbers hitting on fives. And four, D3. Uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Hitting on fives. And I can reroll a single one. Wounding on threes. Uh, oh. Saving on a five. And reanimation protocols. I can reroll ones. Yep. And he's gone. And then the other one will shoot in. Hitting on threes. Stubber. Wounding on fours. Saving on a five. So one drops, uh, 4d3, 3, 6, 7 again, hitting on 3s with a reroll, hitting on 3s, saving on 5s, uh, so that, ooh, that's three there. So I've got four re oh, oh no! If they're all wiped out, you can't do reanimation protocols, right? So they have been taken care of. That was a lot of shooting though. So that's that cleared. We'll put this one into the Doomstalker. So the stubbers. Uh, two hits. No wounds. D3 for the thermal spear. Two, hitting on threes with a reroll. Wounding on threes. And AP minus four, cut straight through for D6. For six. And he's got five wounds left. So um, Erhart takes that one down. Does it explode? Oh. He's got a four up in vol. He's got a four up in vol. Oh, because that one would have cut through it. There was no save there. So right, on a four up, that was negated. Yep, it's still alive. Oh, that's interesting, but it does explode though. I must remember that. In that case then, yeah, it's a vehicle. It can shoot into there. We'll do that first. Stubbers hitting on th threes. Wounding on fours, nothing. And the thermal spear, two hits. Wounding on threes. Wounding on threes, nothing. Wounding on twos, perhaps. All right, so he's got to put all his shots into that thing there. Um, stub it, hitting on fives. The rocket pod, five. Hitting on fives. And the rocket pod, toughness six is strength five? Yep, yeah, so I'm going to go on a five. Nope. The laser destroyer, or Laz Impulsor. It's going to go for a four pin vault save anyway, so I might do 2d6 for eight. Wounding on, oh, hitting on fives, and I can re roll one. But nothing. Ah! You are in trouble. So we will try charging this fella again. I think it should be good. We'll just swing around there. And we'll fire Overwatch with the Doomstalker. So he's got four shots with his. Uh, of course, three go through. Wounding on sixes. 
nothing. And then he's, he didn't move, so he's got heavy d6 for six. Hitting on sixes. Uh, strength 10, wounding on threes. And then the four up invul, which passes. That makes a change. So we need to finish off this thing. Can we consolidate into it? I don't know, we'll give it a try. All right, we'll go for the 12 attacks again. Hitting on fives. That one's very cocked. And I can re-roll one. Oh, that's much better. Uh, wounding on threes. And what was the AP on that one? AP minus two? Minus two. So saving on fives. No, even that. So that's three, four, five, six damage. The uh, little heavy destroyer is gone. Although it did do a whole chunk of damage to that earlier. And let's see if we can swing round. Uh, three inches. No, no, we can't. We are in the open for that thing to shoot at us. As we got into turn four. Turn four for the Necrons. And again, the Necrons are only going to score one point. So end of the movement phase, we because we now have um, Protocol of the Conquering Tyrant, we've gone for Objective 2, so we can fall back and shoot at a minus one. But of course, we've got Mind Wind Mill be done, so they'll still be hitting on threes as they shoot at that thing there. Um, and then the, the Warlord can actually charge this turn. This thing has not moved. If we can get rid of that big, big, big thing there, then um, we've got some other options, but again, we only scored the one point, putting us on to four points to four as we go on to the shooting phase. So the first thing we'll do, we'll shoot this blob at this one here. We'll pay our last two command points for uh, Talent Annihilation, so six is to wound to a mortal wound, and then Relentless Onslaught, so six is to hit, do two hits. So we'll hopefully do a lot of damage to that thing as we've got 24 coming through. Uh, three is looking for sixes. Really? Not a single six? Well, that was a fun command point. And then, oh, we got living metal. So that's actually up to six wounds, so there we go. <coughs> Fives and sixes, looking for sixes. Very cocked. And we will ru rotate Iron Shields. I should have done that earlier, but you know, it's all fun. Um, so that's four mortal wounds and then fours. Four, five, six. It's got a single wound left. It's got a single wound left. Um, so the Doomstalker will put his rapid fire into that one and his main cannon into the, the big fella here. And he's back up to six wounds. Yep, he's hitting on fives. Uh, so it's four shots. Hitting on fives. Wounding on fives. Nothing. And then d6, he, he didn't move. For five, hitting on fours. Oh no, hitting on five, sorry. Wounding on threes. Uh, saving up on the four up invul. They both save. Oh no. Oh no, the Necrons are in trouble. Necrons are in trouble. Uh, charge phase. The Warlord will charge in. We'll spend a command point on Overwatch. Stubbers. One hit. Doesn't wound. D3 for three. Hitting on sixes. Yeah. Wounding on, what's the Warlord's toughness? Toughness five, so wounding on threes, nothing. Oh, and the Warlord goes four inches in. Yeah, he's in. Ah, 
interesting as we go on to the fight phase. So the Warlord gets four attacks, hitting on twos, wounding on fours, and it's AP minus three, so saving on sixes. Nope, and D3 a time, just for out of interest. Five, uh, five. Um, and does he blow up? No. So we take down our first robot. Our first knight falls down. As we go on to turn four knights. And we go to the movement phase. End of the movement. These two have um, advanced up to come into play in turn five. Although we got all the objectives before. So we're, we got one, two, three, four. So it puts on to eight points to four. And we've... Uh, Come around here, so if we the knight has sort of backed out and come back in again, so he can if we can destroy this, he can charge the warlord. If not, he can charge this thing and hopefully destroy it. And then we can deal with some necrons with charging this way with this fella um, as well. All right, we'll go into the shooting phase. So we will put all the shots from this one into. Him. Actually, the stubble will go into the warriors. Let's try and whittle some of those down. Hit it on fives. No. And the rocket pod. Four hits. Or four shots. Hit it on fives. All of them hit. Wounding on fives. And the rocket pod is AP. It doesn't matter. It's always got a four up inball, right? Oh, it's got three up save. Oh, it's got three up save and a four up inball. So the rocket pod is minus one, so it's a four up anyway. No. Uh, two damage, putting it down to four. The impulsor, we'll do the 2d6 again for 11. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Hitting on fives. I can reroll a single one. That's a bit cocked. And wounding on fours. Four up invul. And we make all of those. So we'll do the thermal spear into him and the stubber into the uh, warriors. Stubber hitting on threes. Wounding on fours. Stubbers have been a bit useless. Oh no, apart from the monolith. That was D3 for three. Hitting on threes with a reroll. Wounding on threes. Four up involve. They both go through. Uh, we're in half range. For 11 damage. And the. Do, 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 do. Doomstalker will blow up on a five. No, it does not blow up. But we finally get rid of this thing that's been harassing us. And we got on to the charge phase. So he will charge the Warlord. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. So hopefully we've got enough space to charge him in. Oh, he's got six wounds there. Five, yep, yeah, uh, three, four, that should get him in. We'll just hop over the wall. Good, and um, we will actually, oh no, we don't have any command points for the Necrons. Um, so there will be no Overwatch and no interruption. So we'll do the big fella first. Hmm. We will do the Titanic feat. Hitting on five with a reroll. Ooh. Uh, wounding on threes. Four up invul. Two go through. Two D3. Uh, three, four, five. I think he only has five wounds. He does only have five wounds. So he falls. And we'll do the sweeping attack here. Hitting on threes with a reroll. 
wounding on threes. Uh, saving on... Sixes and a command protocol. Oh, and he gets back up again. Um, hmm. So six uh, attacks back with the Necrons, hitting on threes. Now my will be done is no longer in effect. Moving on fives and sixes. Nothing. So that is the end of turn four, and my knight is on the edge of the table. I do not want that there. It consolidates. There we go. Um, and I think at the end of turn four, uh, turn five, it will be five points to eight, uh, five points to nine. So the Imperial Knights take this one and the Necrons are um, swept up and pushed back underground, I would assume. <sighs> I'd like to have seen more from the monolith. I will try running that one again at some point. But this was a very silly game, and that thing survived. And did an awful lot of damage, considering it was heavily bracketed. So thank you very much for watching. This has been Andrew the Agaran Sector, still doing his Solar Hammer thing. Please do like and subscribe, and stick around for the final of the games. And we'll see you in the next video.